around North of Cook City today. It's April 5th and it's a totally clear sunny day here in the spring. But temperatures are staying cold below freezing up here and there's a light breeze. So on this north facing slope, the snow is still totally dry. We've seen about up to 14 inches of snow that fell over the last week. On slopes that are getting direct sunshine, the snow has gotten moist from earlier today and yesterday and yesterday afternoon it formed a thin crust which was breaking down today. So there's two main avalanche hazards which are mostly limited to the top of the snowpack, which are wind slab avalanches and wet, wet snow avalanches. We've seen just some shallow recent wind slabs, just a few inches deep, which would be minimal hazard unless they were to knock you over into rocks or over cliffs or something. If we do start to see the wind pick up and you see snow drifting, you might expect fresh wind slabs to be forming, which could be easy to trigger. The bigger hazard going forward this week is gonna be wet snow avalanches. We're expecting temperatures to get warmer and warmer each day. So we want to be, we're going to expect the snowpack to get wetter on more slopes and deeper into the snowpack. And you want to start early to uh, get ahead of that instability and expect instability to get worse throughout the day and be monitoring the snowpack for wet snow avalanche hazards. Um, and stay tuned to mtavalanche.com for the most up-to-date conditions. We will be forecasting for a couple more weeks now, so stay tuned.